Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Royal Sussex Live. Welcome one and all. Oh my goodness, so much material. <laughs> oh man, I was just like, okay, what about this? What about that? And then I finally, I just said, you know what? How about we just get started? And if something comes up, I will just add it later. Uh, so with that... Let me see who was here first. Um, Denise Jones, thank you so much for being here first. There are no prizes. Black Queen, hi, Baron Squad, have been down with a second bout of bronchitis. Ten weeks total for the first one, waiting for specialist appointment. Thanks for praying and care. You are quite welcome, Black Queen. Thank you so much for keeping us up to date. And yes, we were thinking about you and praying for you. So greatly appreciate that. Um, and uh, let's see here. Oh, how about if I get my slides up? How about that? Okay. Um, hmm. Was that it? Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me put a little final touch on this one. And uh, then we're good to go. Uh, so anyway, as they like to say, we outside, y'all. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, yesterday, I was caught off guard with everything. But today, I was ready for it. Um, so I did make a video earlier. But uh, yes, I was ready for it, ready for them. And um, I didn't even know anything was supposed to happen today. But needless to say, our faves look absolutely amazing. Um, stall, stall, stall. Let me put this in place. Okay. And one last bit of... Uh, something here and we are good to go i just didn't want to have to keep you all stalled and waiting any longer so here i am here i is okay this ain't texas Woo. okay got it Stick around. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. I was about to say, what did I just do? Oh, I have. Okay. Okay. Everybody's here. We're good. Um, oh, Black Queen. Thank you so much for the super sticker. And thank you again for being here. And, of course, we pray you are better soon. All right. Um, oh, that's what I forgot to do. All right, here it goes. Let me grab my slides. They are ready. I just need to move them over here. Okay. There's got to be a shortcut for this. They've added like an extra step to get to your slides. All right. <clears throat> Novi D, hey, welcome. Amber Rowan, Lady P, Rosita, welcome. Um, who else is here? Gwendolyn Daniels, Sharon S. Very cool. Okay, move that over here. Wonderful, wonderful. Great. Vundava, excellent. Oh, there we go. Slides are up. Ha, there we go. So as you can see, Harry and Megan in Miami with Nacho and Delfina. Centibale Royal Salute Polo Challenge. Now, <clears throat> y'all already know, don't you? Is there anything in that title that you think is going to get somebody's knickers in a bunch? I could see it. Can you? Somebody is going to get their nose out of joint. Now, all well, mm. <laughs> listen, <clears throat> they are who they are. 
right? And Harry has been what he's been since birth. And if somebody wants to throw that in a title, I don't see why that should cause any controversy, right? I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's a good title. It's a good title. Um, let me see. Anybody? You don't see it yet? Give you another second. Uh, Zubeda Ali says, having uh, breakfast whilst listening to my favorite podcast. Baron, you are our favorite podcast guy. Thank you so much, Zubeda. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, yes, Adrian Burrow, you got it. You got it. That That's going to be a, a spot of bother, a bit of controversy. Yeah, sorry about the delay, you guys, but it's really necessary when there's a lot of people here. But uh, Sonia Johnson, Tamara, yeah, you guys see it, right? Val Rich, Gwen Stevens, okay. It, it kind of jumps out at you, doesn't it? Hey, Elaine Parker, we outside. <laughs> We outside. I love that. When I see, like on Twitter, when someone has put the title, We Outside, for one of the live streams um, or spaces, as they say, then I know it's got to be something good. We outside, y'all. We outside. Yes, the uh, royal salute, the royal, that royal thing is going to be something for them to complain about. But that's okay. We cannot live our lives under the, the constant worry of what somebody is going to say. So, you know, sometimes you just have to live your life out loud and not worry about what people are going to think or what they're going to say. Harry and Meghan are just as royal as anybody else in that family. And when there's events involving royals, people tend to, you know, just throw that in there. But if it would have just been, um, well, I'm not even going to worry about it. Elaine Parker, thank you as always for the super sticker. And thank you for being here. You are a treasure. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so let's get to some picks. Okay, so last night, uh, Harry uh, wore black. Looks good. I love when Harry wears black. I really do love when he wears black. And, um, well, he had a thing or two to say last night, and I'm, I'm going to share that with you. Um, now, uh, because I was in such a rush, I couldn't really tell where this video begins or where it ends. So it may be a bit, um, well, you'll see. You'll see. But I couldn't tell where the start or the finish was, so he may repeat a couple things in a minute and a half. And the center body, what we've always believed um, is that every single young person should have a chance at a better future. Africa is... Okay, so um, there you go. Uh, <laughs> I told you, I could tell where I needed to stop it, but I didn't really want to. I just wanted to hear him say it again. Um, but yeah, he looks great. And of course, the the lady on his right side or his left side, right for us, I know I forget her name, but she's uh, associated with Sintabale. I've seen her in the photos with uh, Harry and uh, Nacho. And uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what the event was last night. I mean, I'm, surely it was associated with Sintabale, but uh, for some reason, I don't, uh, I don't have uh, the exact name of the event. But how about something, something, Sintabale? Uh, <laughs> and by the way, you all, um, I hear that the, um, what is it? The uh, tabloid media people, they were trying, they almost hurt themselves trying to uh, get in there. They nearly hurt themselves trying to get in there. Um, and also, did you all hear that the tabloid establishment, the, the 
deep state tabloid establishment, they actually, um, they emailed better up to find out why Harry's uh, video live stream was not available for them. They called, emailed, they sent smoke signals, homing pigeons, all kind of stuff to the people of Better Up <laughs> to ask them, where is the hairy footage? Uh, how come you're not sharing that? I have not seen it. I don't know if anybody's seen it. Um, but anyway, the event last night is Harry participated in the Miami event where he discussed Sintabale with a panel, uh, the charity he co-founded with Prince Seso of Lesotho. The charity aimed to support children and young people impacted by poverty, inequity, uh, and HIV AIDS. He also expressed his affection for Africa where his connection began at the age of 12 and 13. So there you go. Um, again, it was something to do with the uh, Centibale, but um, we just got this clip today and they didn't actually um, give it any more specification than that. So I was hoping to find something you know, further, but that was it. Uh, he was part of a panel last night. And um, so, and of course, as I said before, I love when Harry wears black. I think it really suits him. Okay. And uh, of course, here's a broader image of the panel. Thank you to Getty Images and Jason, was it Koner? Uh, you can uh, see them sitting on those high chairs and everything, having a fine discussion. So there you go. All right. And Harry's also a very good listener. I love that about him. He never tries to, to hog a situation. Uh, Joy Henry, thank you so much for the super sticker. And thank you for being here on this joyous occasion. Uh, joining us here on Royal Sussex. Uh, on a Friday night, and for some of you all, very soon, Saturday morning. Actually, um, Zaveda is eating her breakfast, so we know it's Saturday morning where she is. So thank you very much. All right, and let us continue. So uh, th those are the Polo brothers um, that um, they are. Yeah, they look alike. I guess they are brothers. Yeah. I mean, they, you know, they're brothers, but I mean, brothers, you know what I mean? I mean, they're brothers in polo. Anyway, the polo brothers, now I'm getting the complex. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's hope that they're going to be in this production. I hope so. It'll be great. Um, okay. And I tell you what, they are definitely given the international um uh, model for Ralph Lauren um, Nacho. They're giving him a run for his money. Yeah, they're tall and, and kind of buff just like him. So there you go. They're giving him a run for his money. Uh, and I love this image right here. I love this image. It almost looks like uh, looks like, um, like, like like some scene from a movie or something like that, you know? It does. It just kind of reminds me of a scene from a movie. Very cool. And uh, let's see here. Oh, and well, you know what? I do have that one from earlier. Yeah, I'll share that one in just a second. Let me see what's coming up next first. But uh, how nice is this? What a great surprise. I wasn't expecting anything like this today. And yet here we are. So I will take it. I will take it. Let me see. All right. Get rid of that. Don't need that either. And, oh, okay. Don't need that. All right. Uh, how can I be sure in a world that's constantly changing? All right. Um, so, there you go. What an action figure. I tell you, Harry is quite... 
I don't know what happened. Uh, okay. Let me see. Does that work? And check one, two, three. There we go. That was so weird. I don't know what happened. Oh, my goodness. How in the world did that happen? It just cut out. All right. All right. So we're back. We got sound. Um, and I think we're good. I think we're alone now. It doesn't seem to be anyone else around. I think we're alone now. Okay, we're good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know what I just, I something happened and I just, uh, oh, well, um, I tell you. Okay, okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, I don't need that. All right, so uh, I was just saying that whenever you go to an event and you see they have those background backdrops like that, when I go through someone's timeline on social media and I see that they've been to one of those events, I'm like, wow, now you know, you know something good is happening when, I mean, I've never been to an event where I've had one of those like backdrops like that. So that is my goal for 2024 is to go to some event where they'll have one of those screens behind you. And, and um, yeah, that is my goal. Okay. Uh, Peach Rose is still catching up to us, but I think the sound is working. So I'm not going to worry. I think we're good. Everything that is supposed to be working is working. And uh, I think we're good. Okay. Yes, we're good, right? Uh, Baron, you knocked yourself out. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. Okay. So, oh, oh, what do you think of Megan's outfit? What do you think of Megan's outfit? Hey, Lydia, BS Speaks Royally. Carol Lunn, Don Hansen. Oh, you love the outfit. I'm seeing some hearts. I'm seeing hearts. Okay, got it. Got it. I think that is a unanimous yes. Yes. Check it out. Check it out. Now, that is a power couple. Those are um, global leaders if I've ever seen. Global leaders if I've ever seen. You know, uh, from time to time, uh, there have been events where some country that uh, was trying to find a presence on the global stage would actually uh, make the request to one of the houses of Europe, please send us a prince and a princess because <laughs> we want our own royal family. I know that ain't going to ever happen, but I'm telling you, if somebody ever had to send that Mayday call, like, oh, we need a royal family really fast. Isn't that how they got a royal family in Sweden or uh, Norway? Didn't they uh, uh, import them from someplace else? Now, we know that ain't going to happen, but I'm just saying. Or how about, how about President, uh, President Markle? President Sussex. I'm just kidding. Let me stop playing, you guys. But I just, they look so powerful in this uh, image. But that is not their future. Their future is humanitarian work and Hollywood executive producers. They are going to make content that people love to watch. And check it out. There is the dinner for tonight. Work hard, play hard, right? Uh, and then, of course, enjoy a feast. So that is dinner for tonight. And as you can see, the sun is already setting. They are going to have an amazing, I don't know what's on the menu, but check out those bottles on the table. You know what? Do you know what? I think that may be from last night, now that I think about it, or it could be from tonight, but it may actually be from last night. And I'm going to tell you why, because there is a, an ad campaign for that drink, which I'm going to show you later. 
Yes, uh, is it Mamie Ricks? They are a power couple. They are a power couple. You know, it's just incredible the way they inspire people. Absolutely. And um, they're, they're just beautiful. They're beautiful people. All four of them there, they look amazing. They look amazing. And it just goes to show, as I always say, uh, your friends and your family and your friends that are family, right? And they are definitely in the family way with them. So uh, Love Win says, I have missed everything tonight. Terrible car accident outside my house. Paramedics, uh, fire, police uh, have relieved uh, me and I'm stunned, but uh, no one needed extraction and no major internal injuries. You were in accident? No, no, not you. You said outside your house. Okay, okay. Wow, that's that'll, that'll shake you up a bit, I think. That will shake you up. And I'm really bad about watching those kind of videos on uh, Twitter, especially. They put everything up there now. And I'm just like, I want to stop looking. I want to stop looking, but I can't. Ah, check it out here. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to notice something there. After the photo, after the photo um, of the Fab Four, after the photo of the real Fab Four, they said, uh, just the guys. Okay. So first they were like, okay, guys and the girls. And then they were like, just the guys. Did you notice that Megan, who is a girl's girl, she and uh, Delphine, is it Delphina? She and Delphina retreated so that the guys could take their photo hand in hand. Now, the reason why I'm getting like this, 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 almost presidential vibe is because for those of you that are not Americans, there is a fine tradition that has not happened for a long time, but there is a fine tradition that when the uh, president passes the power to the next president, the first ladies usually hold hands. It's just something that kind of happens because of a natural sisterhood. And here you have four very powerful people, all of them entrepreneurs, all of them humanitarians. At least two of them have worked as fashion. Well, three of them. I just, wait a minute. Let me stop. Three of them has worked as fashion models. I'm telling you, these are some dynamic people. They have done some of everything. Don't forget, Megan's done some modeling herself especially for that fashion line that she cultivated for Reitman. So, I mean, yeah. So there's like three models and four very, very hardworking high achievers up there. And yet in, in, in the midst of all of that, when it comes down to it, there is a sisterhood between Delphina and Megan, which I think is absolutely adorable. Now, let me roll this from earlier. Um, okay. Is that it? Yes, there we go. Wait, is there no sound for that? That is so weird. How is there no sound for that? Huh. That is so weird. Where is the sound? Uh, that is so strange. Where is the sound for that one? I tell you, I am batting a thousand tonight. You know that? I, that is so weird. I know that there is sound with that. I know it is. Oh, you hear sound? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, all right. Sorry about that. Sorry. Well, let me continue. I think it's something to do with what I did earlier. Um, okay, never mind.
Hello, check, check, check. All right, that didn't work out like I thought it would, so don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, so continuing, continuing. Uh, and there, of course, you know, it's so weird. I don't know where that light was coming from, but you can see there seems to be a light coming out of Harry's mouth. And I didn't see it the first time I looked at the photo because, after all, I was so busy looking um, at the, uh, what do you call it, at Megan, who looked stunning standing there like that, that I didn't even notice that there was like some bright light shining from um, from Harry right there. But um, I'm sure it's the camera guy behind them. Now, uh, I do believe that they are filming for their upcoming series on Netflix. So I believe that this is going to be part of the filming. So look forward to seeing that. Ah, uh, uh, come on now. I don't know who makes the sunglasses or the earrings, but both look pretty special. Yeah, both look pretty special. And check this out, Uncle Harry and Auntie Megan take a moment to hug their niece, Alba. How sweet is that? How sweet is that? And you know what? It gets better. It gets better. This is just going to, you're going to get a tear. You're going to get a tear in your eye. Wait for it. Wait for it. As you can see, Alba loves and adores her Auntie Megan. Look at that. Look at that. You know, you know, um, it's not unusual for a young girl to have someone that they idolize, uh, not as much as their mom, of course, 
but still someone close to the family. So like, for instance, uh, one of my aunts loved one of my other aunts, which is my great aunt, but you know, her aunt. And she used to like love to go over to her house and try on her clothes and experiment with fashions and stuff like that because she just adored her so much. And right here, you can see that that type of connection has been made and I think is a beautiful thing. Don't you love it? Don't you love it? I mean, it's just, you know, this, you have to, it's too bad that because of where Harry comes from, he had to leave that life over there and start a new life over here to have this type of family. Yeah. And as Harry said, I want a family, not an institution. I want a family, not an institution. Well, praise God, he has a family now. And that is a beautiful thing. Aw, isn't that sweet? Isn't that sweet? Alba, I love that name, Alba. That is a beautiful thing. Okay, and again, you can see after they had the uh, photo earlier, um, Megan and Delfina, they, they retreated over to the shade so that the guys could do their photos and then they could join up later. There you go. Beautiful thing. And, of course, right here, Megan smiles and waves at the camera as she walked hand-in-hand hand with Nacho and Delfina's daughter, Alba. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And look who else showed up. Look who else showed up. That's right. It is the GOAT, the greatest of all time, Serena. And just as I went on, I actually found a couple of additional photos of Serena. Uh, let me find it here. Uh Oh, wait, did that the wrong way? Uh, go over here. And let me try this. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. And okay. All right, these came up just, just as I finished. There we go. There's okay. Let me see if I could do both of these at one time. Oh, okay. So there's one, and I'm gonna grab the other and I'll share that with you. Ha, there we go. So there you can see Serena. And uh, Megan, it uh, looks like Serena is ready to toast or getting toasted. And right there, there's Serena and her fellow, fellow um, Better Up coach, Harry. Don't forget, Serena also uses Better Up. So there you go, here and here. And no doubt, um, I bet you Serena is wearing one of her creations, that skirt that she's wearing. Pretty sure it's one of her creations. Very cool. All right. Motherhood suits her. Okay, let me take that away. And take a look here. Now, uh, Harry has presented the trophy. And I love the way he's just so surprised that she's bringing him the trophy. Uh, what's that Sonia Johnson says? Uh, can you imagine Lilibet being there uh, that age with her mom? Oh, you mean like uh, Elba? Uh, that would be fantastic. And I can't wait for that to happen. Although uh, we may not see those kids until they're out of college. Uh, it depends on how it goes, but... I'm okay with that. Whatever is uh, secure for them. 
whatever is secure for them, because we just don't want, um, we do not want the tabloids to uh, try to monetize those kids. Uh, oh, that's not for me, is it? Okay. Ah, Rohini, you saw that photo too, huh? Actually, there's a video. You saw that video. Now, um, well, I, you, okay, but you, well, I was, all right, so maybe that's exactly what it was. <laughs> maybe that's exactly what it was. I mean, it just seems like if it's a guy's outing, where's the other kid's dad? Huh? Where's the other kid's dad? Or is that one and the same? Is that what you're implying is that the dad was actually one and the same, allegedly, possibly for the lawyers listening? Huh? That is something that we may find out very soon. Very soon. Ah, there we go. There is the ginger dress. There you go. There is the ginger. And right here, uh, Prince Harry to produce Netflix polo series set in Wellington, which is there in Florida. Untitled series primarily set at National Polo Center. Okay, so there you go. There you go. And that is covered by one of the local uh, news affiliates. And of course, the fail, you know, all day, the Daily Fail wouldn't talk about anything but the athlete that died recently from cancer, right? That's all they wanted to talk about was the juice. The juice this, the juice that. Well, finally, after so many images were coming across the wire, they caved and decided, okay, enough is enough. We have got to headline uh, with... Uh, Harry and Megan. I mean, how could they miss out on all of these beautiful images? The answer is you just can't. You just can't. Not unless you, um, you know, are, are losing your mind. But it, it says, uh, here's her number one. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. It says, he's her number one. Megan Markle plants passionate kiss on Prince Harry as she presents him with trophy after he won glamorous charity polo match in Miami with Netflix cameras there to capture every minute. So uh, again, that was the, um, what the fail had to say about it. So it is going to be blazoned across all of the papers. And um, so, yeah, look forward to, Look forward to seeing more about that, okay? And let us continue here. And don't forget to hit those like buttons. Now let's get to the polo field. Unfortunately, I don't have any images of them actually playing polo, but I'll remedy that later. But here I have a lot of these great steel images for you to look at. There they are, the, the team having their last minute chat before they make those horses thunder up and down the field. Love that shot right there. And then, of course, Harry rears up on his horse because he thought he saw a um, royal, uh, what is it, a uh, <laughs> royal rota, um, um, what do you call it, a royal rota rider in the bushes or something. Um, that's that look right there. That that's probably from seeing what he thought might have been, um, I don't know, Maureen or something burrowing out of the dirt or something. But uh, oh, there we go. Here's a cup for you, and and then of course, the kiss, the kiss, one of Harry's favorite things, the polo kiss, right? And. Uh, I'll see you later. No, I'll see you later. No, 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 no. I'll see you later. Not if I see you first. No, I'll see you. No, I'll see you later. Okay, get a room. Get a room. 
Uh, get a room, get a room. How sweet. Now, claiming exempt, uh, exemption, that is, uh, BBC refuses Freedom of Information Act requests to help clarify world's judging con uh, controversy. Uh, the, uh, responding to requests provide further information to nullify. Uh, is this the right one? Uh, oh, Lord, I think I may have the wrong one. Anyway, um, letter, document, BBC, Scotland. Oh, I think this is the wrong one. Anyway, what I was going to say, I'll just leave it right here, is that from what I'm to understand, the BBC does not want to release any further information about the um, bench video. Kate sitting on a bench video, no further information. So they are not talking. They use some lame excuse saying that they were not going to say anything else about it. So in other words, they are igniting more conspiracies where that's concerned. So anyway, that was all I had to say about that. Uh, and this is what they were, um, this is what they had on all the tables at the event. I don't know if you noticed it, but uh, at the table, let me see. Uh, I'll just go to this one right here. There, you could, nope, you can't see it there. Sorry. But yeah, at the event, they had those on the table. Ha, huh, there we go. You could see it there. Uh, there's one right there by that nearest plate. Right in front of the plate, it kind of blends in, but you can see the bottle there. And that is what they're advertising, so much so that Delfina is actually wearing the dress. See, Nacho Figares and his wife Delfina are in Miami for Prince Harry's Sintabale charity polo event. And this a, is a uh, scotch. Yeah, it's a scotch. Ch Chavez Brothers Royal Salute Scotch. Yeah, the Royal Salute Scotch. So I guess it's made just for this event. I don't know how much it costs, but I love the bottle. And I think it's really cute that Delfina is actually wearing a dress of the same color. And now you won't. Oh, by the way, you guys, this is 2024 so far. Uh, some of Harry and Meghan's 2024 so far, and it's only April. So you got Harry with the trophy uh, presentation. You have the countdown to Invictus, Meghan reading to the children. Harry, uh, I think he's done a few of those uh, like Zoom uh, presentations. And then, of course, Harry last night. More of the Invictus Countdown, Invictus Countdown. Uh, the last one there, that is Megan with the yellow wall behind her. That was at the South by Southwest. Now, surely there's a few things missing. And there's been so much, I cannot think right now. But um, if you want to name a few, go ahead. But there's a few things missing from that. So it's been a very, very busy year for them. Um, wait a minute. What about when she's, um, when Megan did that presentation for Misan, uh, the one where she was on the video screen, I think that was from last year, but the one where she was seated next to Misan and, uh, what's his name? David Awella. Uh, that one was this year, I believe. So there's that. So yeah, uh, the squatty that put this together. Thank you so much. But I do think there is a few things missing from this one. But yeah, it's been a lot. It has been a lot. And Megan said that there's a lot of good things coming down the pike for 2024. And I wish I could tell you about them right now, but she couldn't. But she was excited. And now we can see why. Because they're working on the polo um, documentary. And then, of course, Megan and her American Riviera um, orchard 
that is uh, coming out soon. So, and we still don't know about the Sussexes being in London in May. Now, it is assumed that Harry will be there, but we don't know if Meghan is going or not. So that is still, you know, in the air. But we'll see. And uh, let me see here. That just making sure that I'm. Uh... Oh, yeah. So there's just one last bit of business here. The woman who knows too much. The woman who knows too much. Royal bombshell of the century in Dutch magazine. The woman who, who knows too much. Forced to defend herself and reveal the truth. Explosive showdown with Kate. Uh, what else is there? Plus pregnancy claims send William spiraling. Um, oh, what do you know? Bruce and Demi. New family heartbreak. Interesting. Well, so there you go. Uh, William's mistress finally talks. Well, all of that, of course, is alleged. Is all alleged, but um, it should be interesting. Now, here's the shock of all shocks. Guess what? I'm done. All right. Thank you very much to the Mod Squad for keeping this a safe space. Also, thank you um, uh, for your, your contributions, your likes, your shares, and subscriptions. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Thank you for your memberships. And, of course, when you see the queens, it is time to go. And you know what I mean. So we are done one hour. Let's see if we can get this under an hour. Uh, let me see. Uh, the last word of the day is uh uh yeah there it is good night all enjoy your friday night thank you <laughs> all right got a minute and 30 seconds uh let me see what else and cue the ginger avenger and we're out love you guys see you next time